Okay, so this happened. There's a woman in my building that really just does not like Gatsby. What? By the way, we're gonna be reenacting the situation. Our main encounters with her happen to be in the elevator when we get into our building. And I'm like, and she's always like, and it's not like Gatsby's doing anything, but her face is always like this. And she says, I need you to keep him away. And then I'm always like, okay, he's not really doing anything. And she says, you're gonna have to keep that back. Hold it back, please. I'm always like, what? And Gatsby's like, what? Gatsby, what did you do to her? And this happens a lot because we live in the same building. Don't worry, we still love you. I think it's actually pretty funny. It doesn't really bother me too much. I just must ruin her day each time she runs into Gatsby. Anyway, we're not gonna let it ruin our day because we have an awesome vlog coming up for you now. Enjoy. Good morning. Good morning, Gatsby. Oh no. She sells seashells by the seashore. Not horrible. <laughs> it's been over a week since I got my Invisalign trays. My speech is still not there. Mississippi. <laughs> hey Gatsby, we're gonna play a new game, okay? Count how many Gatsby's you can find in each shot. In the comments below, numbers one, two, and three, and count how many Gatsby's you can see in each of the scenes. Scene number one. How many Gatsby's can you count? Hmm. We're gonna move on now to scene number two. In the comments below, write down how many Gatsby's you can count. Look very carefully. And finally, number three. How many Gatsby's can you count in this scene? <laughs> and that's it. Good job, Gatsby. Congratulations, you did it. Yay! Right now, I'm going to meet up with my friend Emily, who I went to Cornell University with. She got married earlier this year, and I vlogged the wedding. Mike and Emily, yay! We are going to grab some food right now. They're making the dumplings here. That must be a really hard job. My neck would probably hurt a lot from this. There's soup inside of these. I just dip it in the soy sauce. Yeah, you poke it. Yeah, there. You poke it. The spoon is supposed to fill up with the soup inside, and then you slurp it. Okay, here she goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. You can have one. Yeah. There it is. You gotta tell me which picture is your favorite. Yes. Oh, beautiful. My favorite is the donuts. Ah. Good kill. Like matches. It looks like you're wearing like pajamas because your pants. Got my Christmas PJs. Yeah, on. you look so Christmassy. Thanks. <laughs> We're saying goodbye to Emily and Mike. Yay! Bye. I'm not yay, but say, I say this Bye. every time. I'm driving over right now to go and get a haircut. We got a pretty high fade here with the faux hawk. So the other day. Um, I went to the post office. I found out that they were holding a lot of the calendar orders and I was kind of like, what? Why are they doing this? They didn't even have an answer. <laughs> but I cleared everything up. I was like, make sure you guys ship these out because they were supposed to go out last week. So you guys should be getting your calendar soon. Sorry about that. So another news, some people were still asking me like, oh, how did you do this? So I thought I would just show you really fast. So these were the photos that we actually took. As you can see, I just put a card table over here and that's how we did it. And the other night Gatsby and I did a few more 
signed calendars as well. And so don't forget to grab stuff at the end of the vlog at corgionfleet.com. The calendars make great gifts to brighten up your entire 2020, as well as it also really helps support Gatsby. And don't forget we also have our Christmas quirky t-shirts over here. Christmas sweaters. Maybe it's pretty much almost all sold out. Please, can we go for a walk? Okay, let's go. After I get a haircut, I always end up looking way bigger. One of the benefits. Anyway, I'm gonna head off to the gym right now. See you guys there. Got done with our workout. I gotta go to the grocery store and how to grab some ingredients. We're gonna make some curry today. Chives, chicken broth, basmati rice. Where is it? Here we go. I'm gonna get this one. Simple enough. Oh my gosh. They have these squeezing things. Okay. Yes. What? What is this? Oh my gosh. What is this supposed to be? A balloon? This has got to be like the worst prize ever. Okay, we'll I'll try this when I get home. I'm happy you're back. The dog is too. Go. The Orbeez inside are clear, which is so dumb. Which one will you get? See, look, you can get like an octopus, a shark. I wonder which one did I get? There's some beads inside, but you can't even feel them. This one is a lot nicer. Ooh. <laughs> Speaking about squishies, I thought that we would just do a really quick aquarium update today. One time we did focus on the rose bubble flip anemone. I thought today we would focus on this guy, the toadstool leather coral. If you guys remember this guy, I got like over a year ago, tiny, tiny little piece about the size of a quarter. Look how big it is now. This one is considered one of the easiest ones to frag. When it gets too large, you just take a scissors and you can just cut off a piece of it. And then what happens is that piece will start growing and creating its own toadstool leather coral, just like this one over here. It's considered one of the easiest corals to keep. And they look really nice. It's a really good beginner coral. You just need a lot of space for it. It's not a good idea to buy a big one because they tend to be really expensive. You can just get a small one and once it gets used to the tank, it starts growing pretty fast, as you can see. And that is a quick aquarium spotlight. Let me know in the comments below another coral that you would like me to speak about. Good boy. Pokemon Sword. That's the look. Sobble's like, what is that? It's some quirky Pokemon. Damper. Whoa. What do you think? He's like, I don't know. Yeah. Die. Oh no, Yamper is evolving. What is the quirky gonna turn into? Pokemon are so excited. Oh, there it is. Look at that. That looked so delicious. One of the recipes actually includes a sausage curry, which I was like, oh, and I wanted to try making it myself. I did see um, some other guy make it, so I will put a link to his video in the description below because I will be referencing it. And so let's get started. We're just gonna do it really simple. I went and bought the Japanese curry over here. This is kind of cheating because this is the instant kind. <laughs> it still should be pretty good with some potatoes carrots and onions. There's some color on there, so we're gonna add our potatoes. 
then we bring this to a boil. Meanwhile, we're gonna make the rice with some turmeric. That'll add the yellow color. We're not gonna make it in the rice cooker. We're just gonna uh, cook it on the stove. There it is. Then we're gonna add one cup of chicken broth. It's already boiling. So we're gonna reduce it to a simmer and cook for 20 minutes. I'm gonna be making it with one of my favorite sausages here, the jalapeno and pepper jack cheese. We're gonna add the curry flavoring here. There it goes. That looks about right. And then I have to put my heart into it. Now all that's left is for us to put it all together. Add our rice. Oh, that looks so good. Two sausages. You're gonna garnish it with some chives. Pokemon sausage curry. Woo! That looks so good. What class is this? Let me know, you guys. We gotta try it out. Sausage. Grab a little bit of everything. It's not bad at all. So I got the recipe from Jammy Cooks. I'll put the link to his video in the description below so you can check it out. I love Japanese curry, so it's really good. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Gatsby's like, what's going on? Are we gonna film something? Let's see, we got some packages here, Gatsby. Hope from Ellicott City, Maryland. Oh, look at that! Oh, it's just like in the movie! How many of you guys subscribed from seeing my bow video? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Okay, let's open this one. This is from Singapore. This is from Jamix. <laughs> Doll. <laughs> Thor keychain. A little corgi wallet. That's cute. Curry. It's kind of like curry noodles. Kind of like a ramen. We want to thank Jamix and Hope for sending us the mail. Thank you so much, you guys. Along with those people, we also want to thank these awesome fans right over here. Thank you so much. All these people just got their Corgi on Fleek merch. When you guys get your merchandise, make sure to tag us, hashtag Corgi on Fleek. Other than that, we're gonna head to bed. Thank you so much for all the support and don't worry about that woman that's in our building. She doesn't bother us that much. I think we bother her more. Hello everyone, today we have over a hundred dollars worth of Korean barbecue that Gatsby's gonna be trying out. They're